Kids, how you doing? It's your old buddy, Professor Rado Von Buoyancy, and Bui! Bui, you got to give yourself a concussion here. You got to watch it. Whew, that was a little ugly. All right, here we go. Final day. Big grand finale. All right, we got a wide variety of things here. All right, first up, golf ball. Ooh. Go Tiger Woods on this one. Here we go, see, is it gonna sink or float? I got a pretty good idea on this one, Bowie. Here we go. Oh, she went down all right. Much like the uh, professor's drive. It, it never be seen again. Okay, one down, sink on the golf ball. I don't think anybody's surprised. So that's a freebie for you. That was like free space in bingo. All right, here we go. Ooh, let's do something. Camping trip, a flashlight. If I gotta go out in the middle of the night, if I drop my flashlight in the lake, is it gonna float? Or is it gonna sink? And then I'm never gonna be able to get it. Let's see. Ooh, it's a nice flashlight. Oh, no battery though. Okay, here we go. Is it going to sink or float? Here we go. Oh, that's a floater. She come right back up. That's good to know, because the professor can be a little clumsy sometimes. All right, so. Floater, we got one each. How you doing so far? How's your week been? You've been doing good on the sinker floats? We've had some shockers. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Nestle Quick. Chocolate milk mix. Ooh, yummy. We had the milk the other day. Now we got the milk, the Nestle Quick. Here we go. All right, container sealed up nice and tight. Let's see what happens. Is it going to sink? Well, she floats right back up, just like the milk. I wonder if we put them together if they'd still float. That's a good question. Another year, another show, Bowie. Not today, though. Not today. All right, here we go. Soap, ivory soap. So clean, so pure. Ah, fresh. Here we go. Is it going to sink or float when you're having the bathtub? Let's see. Oh, it's a floater, so you could just set it there and, ooh, and then pick it back up. That's, that's handy to know. Let's wash our hands, Bluey. It's, you know, dinner time coming up. <laughs> All right, wash the hands, and I, I can rinse them right off just like that. All right, good stuff. Professor, if you... Whoops! Yeah, wash your hands of that one for sure, Bluey. <laughs> All right, our last one. Ooh, big bag of sugar. Now... Based off our soda cans, if you were watching earlier in the week, you might have an idea of what's going to happen here. Or maybe you don't. We're going to see. Let's see. Buoy, sink, or float. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, what? Oh. I think it's floating. Is that amazing? It is. It's floating. So much for what we thought was gonna happen. So many shockers, so many surprises. High drama here on Sink or Float. Hey, we had a great week. We hope you had a great week. For my buddy Bowie, I'm Professor Otto von Boyancy. Have a great one, kids. Bye. Well, it's our last night together. I hope you've enjoyed Sink or Float. I hope you've enjoyed this so and so show. And I hope you've learned a lot about Jesus and his love for us. So let's get into tonight's material. Hello, everyone.
everyone, I'm Steven. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Man, we have had a great time, haven't we? That we have, John. Yes, but all good things must come to an end. But why? Well, because listen. Wait, do we have a leak? Yeah. So it's a good thing we're wrapping this puppy up. How long have you had that leak? Oh, I'm not sure. It must have just started. But we got to get out of here so a plumber can come and fix it. Wait, wait, wait. We can still do the show, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, good. We never let a drip of water stop us before. That is true. Yeah. But a little drip of water can be super powerful. Ah, good thing. I have this fancy pants, very official so-and-so show drip catcher. That is just a clear plastic tub. Shh, they don't know that. Yes, they do. Fine. I'll just put this right here and we can move on with the show. Good idea. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Uh, wow, that is really distracting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We gotta move on. Yes, yes, here, here. You take this. Ah, the tub. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, this, this, oh, I, I found some seeds in my gardening box. Might as well put this drip to good use, right? <laughs> just put. A little handful of seeds right there. There you go, seeds, get in the dirt. And then I just scoop up a little dirt. And I'll bury you there. You go to sleep. You go to sleep and grow. Is that the technical way of? That's it, you gotta. Lovely. Okay. All right, and as for this tub of water. Oh, you mean the fancy pants, very official so-and-so show drip catcher? Yes, that. Mm -hmm. I was thinking we could play a little game I like to call Watch It Drop. Watch it ripple. Watch it drop. Watch it ripple. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look, my seeds are starting to grow. That's impossible. No, no, look, they are. What? That is weird. That's shh, they can hear you. Okay, so I have here our makeshift ripple tank. Or as I like to call it, our fancy pants. Very official so-and-so show ripple tank. Yes, of course. And we will be dropping different objects in to make waves or little ripples. And how, Stephen, do ripples work? Well, John, whenever you toss something into a lake or a pool, the energy from that object thrown is transferred to the water. Creating a wave of energy that ripples through the water. Yep. So directly above us, we have our ripple cam. Our fancy pants. Very official so-and-so show ripple cam. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which will give us some pretty amazing slow motion views of our ripples. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. Hi there. <laughs> We should do this part in slow motion. Oh, yeah. Hello. No, I meant like, just we'll, I we'll edit there. it. Oh. So let's take a look at just a single drop of water. Ooh, okay. Ready? Yeah, and. Ooh. Wow! Oh. That, <laughs> that's amazing that such a tiny thing can produce all those miniature waves. Indeed it is. Want to see another one? Yeah. Ah, wow, yeah. now that's cool. Up next, we have these rings. Oh, uh -huh. you ready for this? Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna do one. Okay, ready? Ah, oh, whoa, wow, it's going in different directions. Yeah, they're all, like on the outside of the ring, they go that, and the inside, they kind of crash into each other. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, this is great and all, but I think we need to up our game. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, follow me. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Come on, come on. I don't know why, but... Come on! I'm coming. Come on! All right. <laughs> it's time for the Fancy Pants Very Official So-and-So Show Wave Pool! Sounds fun! Yeah. What are we dropping in this wave pool? Well, I was thinking... You. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cannonball! Nice! Nah. Let's make some waves! <laughs> hey! It's Bible story time! Make it a wave! Everybody, my name is Kellen, and today we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Now, before Jesus died and came back to life, he told his disciples that God would be sending them a helper who would be with them. That helper is the Holy Spirit. 
When you follow Jesus and put your trust in him, you have that helper living inside of you too. And with the Holy Spirit in your life, you will bear fruit. Like bananas and pomegranates? Um, no. Oh, it's you, Horvath. Well, hello, it's Kellen. Hi, Horvath. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody out there? All right, let's do this. My name is Horvath, and I'm here to combine the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. It's not like bananas or pomegranates. Ah, oh, I don't understand. Well, it's like this. We can't see the wind, can we? No. 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 But we know the wind is there because we see things move around when it's windy. Mm. It's kind of how the Holy Spirit is. Oh, we can't see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the fruits of the Spirit in other people. The Holy Spirit helps us love others the way Jesus loves us. Oh, so what kinds of fruits? Here's what the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Galatians. Huh. He wrote, The fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. Oh! Mm -hmm. So, a follower of Jesus should have love. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And love is when you care about someone. Mm. Yeah. And joy. Joy is a lot like happiness, ah. but it's showing happiness even when things don't go your way. Oh! Okay. First exercise. Okay. Love and joy jacks. Okay. We will jump into a squat and make a heart shape over our head. And then jump for joy. And we're gonna do this 42 times. Okay. Wait, wait, 42? Go! Oh, okay. One, two, uh, Frank on your What? Uh, Mozart, uh, Beef on Wick, 42s. <laughs> what's next? What's next, calendar? <laughs> okay. Well, another fruit that you might see in someone who follows Jesus is peace. Now, peace is choosing not to fight or argue. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then there's patience, which is showing that you can wait for something even if it's hard. Next exercise! It's called shh, wait. We wave your arm like a sword like this. Ah. And then you grab your arm and you hold it tight and turn around in a circle and say shh. While you wait with patience. And then you jump around and do this again. We'll do this 148 times. Go. One. Ah, shh. Two. Ah, shh. Manuscript. Ah, shh. Fuchsia. Ah, shh. Tony Bennett. Ah, shh. 148. Shh. Yes. Shh. Ooh, what's next? Oh, okay. Well. Next, Paul wrote that the fruit of the Spirit is being kind. Ooh! Yeah, now kindness means being friendly to people. Oh. Yeah. And then there's good, which can mean making wise choices. Oh! <laughs> then there's faithful, which means you can stick with someone or something through tough times. Well, that's good! It is great. Mm -hmm. And then gentle, which means you aren't too rough with what you do or say. Ooh! Next exercise! I call this the geyser hugs. You see someone coming and you open your arms to give them a big hugs. And then you jump up like old faithful geyser, all with a smile on your faces and you hug yourself. <sighs> like this. <sighs> we will do this 200 times. Oh. Give or takes. Okay. Here we go. One. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> Oh, helper! <laughs> oh, Care Bear! <laughs> oh, Mascarpone Cheese! <laughs> oh, 200! Yeah! That feels good, doesn't it? It feels great! Ah. And finally, the Holy Spirit helps you have self-control. That means you do what's right even when you're tempted not to. Oh, oh, last exercise. The catch me if you can. You run in place like this with your legs out of control. Whoa, whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you jump down and you touch your toes and get them under controls like this. Whoa. We will do this three times. Oh, three, that's not bad. Right? All right. Here we go, go. One. Two. Two. Three. Silo. Silo? Soccer ball. What? Spaghetti house. Spelt wheat. So crates. Three. There's three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no! I can't, my eyes are burning! <laughs> ah. bath, are you okay? I can't feel my eyes! Uh, I'm just going to lay here and take a napkin. Oh, Perfect. Gosh. <laughs> so that's the fruit of the Spirit. When you put your trust in Jesus, the Holy Spirit will help change your life so that you can be a part of God's plan to change the world. Hi! I think I need a pomegranate. That's all for me. Go make waves, everybody. Mm, I love fruit. Right, but not that kind of fruit. <laughs> Although something has to be wrong with that plant. Mm, it tastes delicious. Mm. It really is incredible that God gave us the Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, that God's Spirit is always with us. When we put our faith in Jesus and let the Holy Spirit work inside us, we start acting with kindness and goodness. And love and joy. And I really believe that if we all did that, it could change a lot of things. So, what's the point? Cannonball! God can help you change the world around you. Change the world? Really? Sure! With the Holy Spirit inside us? What are some ways that our viewers could change the things in their world? Well, maybe the next time you do the dishes or clean your room, you do it with joy rather than complaining. Or maybe you can ask God to give you the ability to control yourself when you've been watching a little too much YouTube. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or maybe you know a kid who's been left out. Aww. You know, you can show some incredible kindness by finding a way to include them. Yeah, where there is hate in the world, you can make waves of love. When there's sadness, you can make waves of joy. When someone is angry, you can make a wave of peace. Yeah, making waves can change the people in the world around you. Then maybe those people can make some waves. Oh, and when we're all making tiny waves, the waves become bigger and bigger. And those big waves can change the world. Huh, yes. So go, be the person God has created you to be and change the world around you. And thanks for joining us for The So-and-So -so Show! That was great. Mm. How's that banana? It's very good, you want one? I would love one. All right, well, you Don't want one from that? Don't mind if I do. Welcome. Last day, last craft, and today we are going to do a Fruit of the Spirit craft. You will have a little green leaf that has Galatians 5, 22 and 23 on it that says the Fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So that will go with your craft for today. There should be a little card that has the fruit of the spirit on it and it just kind of has colors that represent each fruit of the spirit. And then you'll have a paper that has all of these fruits of the spirit on it and they will be hole punched for you. There'll be a hole at either end. And what we're going to do is you're just gonna kind of take there's this little, it's called a brad, and it's supposed to push through all of the fruits of the spirit. Be able to put all of them on there. Just pull them through. 
one end. All right, and then you're gonna be able to fan them out. So you want to, so that each one is going kind of a different direction. So kind of like, think of a sun, maybe. And they'll each have their own spot. It's kind of tricky, you gotta hold it and fan them out. Get them all fanned out the best you can do. And then, you're going to one by one fold it under so that it makes this little it's supposed to kind of look like a fruit when it's done. tricky. Move some around if you have to, but you'll, you'll get them all in there. Okay, and then the bread has little prongs that you're going to bend outside so that you have this. Okay. Then you take your green and your brown pipe cleaners should both go through the hole of your just kind of twist them. Okay. And you're gonna slide it through. And then twist it again. You can use a pencil or a pen if you want for this part. But your fingers work just fine. And just have the quills. And that's your fruit of the spirit. And then your little card goes with it. So thanks for joining me for all of our crafts. And hope you have a great rest of the week. When we love and follow Jesus, it's kind of like looking at a fruit tree. When you see a fruit tree, you're going to see its fruit. And that's why we talk about the fruit of the Spirit. Because if we're following Jesus, people are going to see the fruit in our own lives. They're going to see our love, they're going to see our joy, our peace, our patience, our kindness, our goodness, our faithfulness, our patience, our self-control. They're going to see all of it, right? They're going to see all those fruit, and they're going to know that we're different. They're going to want what we have because we live life with more joy, with more peace, with more kindness. And when they see that, it's going to make waves in their lives. And when we give them the answers that they're looking for and they begin to follow Jesus, it's going to make waves in their life, but it's also going to make a lot waves in the lives of other people. And that's what it's really all about. It's for us to find ways to make waves and change the world around us. So how are you going to make waves? How are you going to change the world around you? That's up to you. But I hope you find ways to follow Jesus and make waves and change the world around you. That's all I have. I hope you have a great rest of your summer and I cannot wait to see you again real soon.